did you guys see the Super Bowl yesterday? Oh yeah, yeah for sure. I'm a, I'm in Tampa. Okay. No, I can't. <laughs> I All saw right, look. I saw the stand. I saw the stands of the Super Bowl. Well, look, I'm just <laughs> watching, I'm just watching this clip right now. Did you guys see the Zack Snyder Justice League teaser clip? In I missed that. No, sir. It's Ladies and gentlemen, I missed that because I went to the back. Hold on, guys. Do me a favor. Do me a favor because we're going to I was lit. About, <laughs> do me a favor because we're going to talk about it. We'll pause this right here and come right back in one second. Can you guys watch it right now? Let me say something right now, guys. I know Joey's watching it right now. Lua said he saw it. Quasi saw it. The Justice League Snyder Cut teaser clip that they played at the Super Bowl. I'm just going to say, you know, they, they, they didn't show too much. I'm just going to say the visuals in that is already better than that trash ass Justice League that they dropped. <laughs> <laughs> last year. What was it, last year or two years ago? I don't even remember. Uh, Three right. years ago, dude. Yeah. Fucking 2017. Yeah. I'm back. Okay. So yeah. We'll start here. Quasi, what do you think of the clip? What do you feel? Well, the clip is just the. T I've seen that uh, that um that clip before, but uh, like Zach showed a different version of it where he's you know like uh, the, the cyborg character because we're gonna get more of the backstory uh, with cyborg and with his mom before the crash and how he became cyborg. I mean, I love the clip because it's just hints of what's to come. I mean, like as you would say, this the 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 Snyder cut's about to be a serious movie, like four hours of what we should have got three almost four years ago with the with the BS Justice League that we got in theaters. That's nothing compared to what we're about to see now, in like a month and a half. I'm gonna let Joey and Lou talk now. I'm I'm big on defending defending Zack Snyder because a lot of people shit on him. I'm defending his vision and his visuals, but you know I'm not gonna erase the fact that he rushed and and went to Batman v Superman and fucked shit up. Not the visuals, but the, rushed the story and all that and threw just a whole bunch of shit in one pot. I don't know if that was his call or the studio's call. To be fair, a lot of that, so the studio too, trying to cash in. So it's like probably half and half from what I read. Warner Brothers wanted to speed things up. They wanted to cash in on the money. They knew Batman, adding Batman was gonna rake in some money and they you know, played the cards and they were a little wrong with that, so. It's not all on Zach, but Zach probably could have said, hey, why don't we do Wonder Woman first? Why don't we do Aquaman first? But it was what it was. We talk about Justice League every week because it's a big story. Joey, Pretty Lou, what do you guys expect to see in this thing? Like, I think real quick, like- uh, Four yeah. hours, what do you guys expect to see? Four hours, if it was five hours, I, like I told Quasi last week, I, I'd watch it for five or six hours if the quality was good. Um, and so far, it, it does look good. You know, we're getting a more darker tone, which I, which I honestly really like. And I think DCU should kind of stick with that vibe because, you know, Marvel's got it figured out, and they had their, you know, they've got their formula. And I think DC should, you know, take a, you know, different road and and try to not be just like them, but kind of create their own little twist. Um, and Quasi said a good, made a good point. I think what really messed up the movie before was you know, toys run this whole thing. You know, these are superheroes. These are things that kids want to, you know, play with and buy and bother their parents at Target and, and, and you know what I'm saying? Uh, so that, that plays a major factor in how they can really market, uh, you know, the movie. So the fact that Zack Snyder's given us this take and we're seeing the tone and with the clip and getting a better backstory about how Cyborg was made and uh, maybe a, a, a nice little uh, flash story too, like, you know, yeah. it can really make the movie a lot more complete and something that the fans really needed. I feel, I, I feel the same way. I think DC should stay the way it is on comic books. Dark is better, you know, because the DC DC comics from even from the from the sixties on has always been like a novel. If if people really, if you're really into DC comics, every comic book. From, from Batman, even Superman, it was always a novel. It was always like a dark novel. And that's what I think they got off. Like, they they went into the went into the, the, the Nickelodeon yeah. Super Friends. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> which, that, yeah. which is, you know, <laughs> that's not the real reason of DC. So, but I think, I think this time, like Joey said, I think they're going to take every character and show their past. And how they became whatever, blah blah blah. Not really Batman and Superman. Oh, they, we already, they already did that. Already know. They already did that in the solo movies for Aquaman and Wonder Woman. You know what I'm saying? Um, but no, but but more really like more really Cyborg and Flash. You know, yeah, what you need a Cyborg remember, and Flash story. Cyborg and Flash because in reality, remember you still got Flashpoint coming next. So they, I know they're probably gonna go deeper with those two characters 
instead of Wonder Woman, Batman, and Superman, because they already had that. And maybe they're going to even probably go more. Remember now, you got you got some new characters now that put in. Now, now we already know the Joker is going to be in yeah. it. Yeah. We already know, you know, of course, Dark Side. And we already know that um, what's his name is going to be in it. The other villain with the, with the, with the helmet. Steppenwolf. Oh, Steppenwolf. Um, Steppenwolf not Steppenwolf. Yeah. No, not Steppenwolf. Um, this guy. Who, Deathstroke. Who, the Deathstroke. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Deathstroke. You know what I'm saying? We don't know how they're gonna put that, but I feel I think I think now, since it's not rushed, and he's taking his time on it, maybe it'll come out the way it's supposed to be. Look, I'm once again. Yeah, I'm no, always. I'm always defending Zack Snyder, but there's a couple of things besides the fact that they rushed it, which could have been the studio on his ass, that is like, how the fuck was that? What's homie's name, the actor's name that played Lex Luthor? That should have never happened, okay? Um, uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Might be yeah, the worst. Yeah, Eisenberg, right? Yes, yeah. Eisenberg. That might have been the worst Lex Luthor in the history of Lex Lutheranism. And on top of that, <laughs> this guy, what's his name, Jared Lee? But, 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 but hold up, but not to cut you off, but but there's another confusion. I, I mean, quasi. I mean, He's and, not Lex and, um, and Joey. Lou disappeared. But but they, they 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 keep. Oh shoot! I'm sorry, somebody. They keep um. They keep. But they keep saying that. Like, I'm still reading stuff that that's not the real Lex Luthor for some reason. Yeah, they're saying that because they fucked up the casting for Lex Luthor. Not to erase that mistake. <laughs> no, so I, I gotta ask. I gotta ask gotta... Sus, though. Like, who would you have casted in place of Jesse Eisenberg? I mean, nobody's touching Gene Hackman. I mean, that's classic. But who would you like yeah. find to kind of well, you know compliment? Copy all the way on is Gene Hackman's classic, one of the greatest actors of all time. But he's more classic because that's a Superman that I grew up on, and he's the best Superman. But if I was in charge. There would be more of the in shape, worked out businessman in the suit, bald head, Lex Luthor. Like that wasn't Gene Hackman, <laughs> like either. Like you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Just like so Christopher Reeve was the like greatest Superman ever, but he wasn't the Superman from the comic book visually the way Henry Cavill is, m meaning muscle wise and all that. He's the best yeah, character. Different, it's though. different, it's different though. times. You, yeah, it's different times. So yeah, I want the seventies versus now. Yeah. The way they made Henry Cavill's visual look like it got snatched right out of a comic book, I need to see that Lex Luthor snatched right out of a comic book. In shape, business um, persona, kind of, kind of um, intimidating, kind of bald head. Kind of, um, that little brat with the red hair, what was that? That looked like the Riddler. <laughs> yeah, I think yeah. he did go you know, off yeah. Jim Well, Carrey. we know we're not gonna, we're not gonna see, yeah, you know, we're not gonna see the, the the Lex Luthor you want to see in this movie because basically it's the same cast that's, that's already there. It's not uh, Zack Snyder reshot a lot of stuff, but we know Jesse Eisenberg's still in this one because we already saw that Deathstroke scene from the original Justice League. That's still gonna be in there. Yep. So 